Hey everyone, and welcome to my latest video where I'm going to show you how to sort match covers. Yes, so I get asked quite a bit like, how do you, how do you sort them? How do you catalog them? How do you do things like that? I'll show you all that, but I think first let's just start with the sorting process and then we'll do some sorting. So you can kind of see, you know, how uh, exciting it is and how monotonous it can get. But the way I do it is I break it down by category clearly. And uh, as you can tell, I've written down the category and you know, the pile behind it. And I got this, it's like a uh, post-it tape. I know I got that at Daiso. So I use that to label my piles because you can just rip it off real easy. And as you can see, some of my categories, Inland Empire, Long Beach, LA County N through Z, LA County A through M, but I also have non-geographical categories like waffles, dirty devils, meat, TV radio, and this isn't even all of my categories. Uh, this is just what I have out right now. Um, I'm doing pretty well right now. I'm only two conventions behind and stuff I need to sort so that's actually pretty good so that's what i will be working on um so like i collect i'm trying to think there's like there's categories on that aren't on here yet just because i haven't gotten to one of those in my pile of crap so once i do i'll just make another little post-it and then go ahead and make a new pile um you know if you find a different way that works better for you that's great some people use little containers uh cigar boxes uh, anything, hey, you use what you want if that's what's going to help you. But I like the way that I do it. And like I said, after I get a, a, a fat stack of ones, then I'll rubber band it. And then I'll put them all into a box. And then when I'm in the mood to work on that category, I'll take them out and start working on them. You know, I know. Uh, I don't work on all of my categories all at once. Um, there are some categories that I like better than others. Uh, or to, you know, quote Morrissey, some categories are better than others. Yeah, I know it's terrible, but it's true. Certain categories like my LA, uh, my Las Vegas, even my radio stations and stuff, I like those a lot. And so I'll usually work on those first versus uh, other categories that I'm not, eh, you know, like um, New York City. New York City! get a rope but like I, I like those but that's not my number one collection so those usually get put down at the bottom of the box but things like this LA stuff and Hollywood that usually gets put away quick so that goes on the top of the box but anyways so that's enough of my method to my madness so let's start sorting so let's work on something fun let's work on this pile of what we call contours so they are called contours because the match contours to the shape of whatever they're selling and you can see in the manu mark it's contour so that's not necessarily a name brand but it is we call them manu marks and that will help you date your matches because certain makers only existed during certain times or they only put out certain products in a certain time so as you can see this is a lion contour so this is put out by lion right and they had the patent on this so no one else would make contours uh, there's other like midgets um, jewelite royal flash those are just types of matches put out by certain manu marks but we'll get more into manu marks in another episode but let's take a look at these contours and let's sort them so some things I guess I just like them, but I don't have a category for them. So I either try to force it into another category or it just goes in my category I call other states, which is just crap I can't put anywhere else, but I like it. So um, this is a home, right? Uh, so I could put it in, I do have a category of miscellaneous products and I usually put like home, plumbing, gas. Uh, that's for my chainsaw collection goes in the miscellaneous products. So I guess I can put that there. Uh, pineapple, that would go into my food products, which is over here. The steak, uh, the steak, it can go into my meat. It's Denver, 
So unless I'm going to put it in my other state, I'd rather put it in the meat category. This green derby. So yeah, I guess I would go in Maryland, right? Because I don't collect cats. So that'll go over in other states, which I forgot where that is right now, but we'll make a pile for it. Ben Gross. Ugh, so gross. Fine foods. That one's cool, too. And maybe what I'll do is for all of these miscellaneous contours that don't have a home category, I'll just put them together because that's, I think that's why I have this pile because I'm like, eh, should I put them all together in a binder? They would look really neat, but when I'm looking for a specific, say I'm looking for Anaheim, California matches, it'll be scattered. So that's another problem you have when you collect and put stuff in binders because you will have matches that go into numerous categories. So you just have to decide on which category it best suits it. And then when you do need to look for your Anaheim, California matches, you can look in your Orange County binder, your contour binder, your full length binder, uh, you know, your feature binder. So, you know what I mean? Um, there are categories like Las Vegas or LA, like I mentioned, that I actually research and use fairly often. So I would probably put stuff there versus a subcategory, but to each their own. So we have the Flaming Pit, another Colorado. Now, oh, see, look at, so this one's Bobtail, which we call Bobtail, and that's when the striker has been cut off or fallen off. Um, you can tell if it's old, sometimes the striker just falls off other times people cut it off and now it's like an old-timey collector thing because back then they thought it was a danger so you know some people don't care if it's bobtailed other people do i'll take a bobtail and then when i get a better one i will stick it in its place but fyi a lot of the matches I've been seeing on Facebook Marketplace, a lot of them are bobtailed. So don't let someone try to hustle you to pay a lot for those matches. You know, to quote Midas, I'm not going to pay a lot for this matches. So just FYI, if they're bobtail, you offer them less because they're not worth what they think they're worth. So now this guy, we'll see. It says furnace, but it has a dog. So it's going to go on my animals because I do have an animal category. Where did I put that one too? I don't know. Somewhere. I do, I do have a pile for that. Chicken. This fried chicken. Uh, where's this one at? Hickory meat. Well, I, I could put that in my meat. Another derby. Ohio. So yeah, I can start a derby collection. More chicken. Look at this guy. He looks like, oh, what's his name? Oh, famous pizza pie and fried chicken. So I guess I could put that in the chicken. More chicken. It's a chicken box. I can go in chicken. Although that's not a picture of chicken, so I think that's going to have to go in other states. The frontier. Looks like a house. That's cute. That I'll put in characters. So I put just cute guys like that. It's called characters because um, it's like another, you know, I don't know where else to put it, but it's cute. So I put like mascots, um, like Abraham Lincolns and stuff like that in my character. So he will go in characters. Let's see. Another Ohio. Oh, look at these. Food for every mood, twins. Uh, I do have a category of children uh, because I'm... A barren spinster and do not have any of my own <laughs> so I have a binder of my children so I'll, I'll put those with my children which uh, it's right here so this hippo I'll go ahead and put the hippo in the animals which I forgot what I did with so Italian Maryland ooh this one looks kind of cool Columbus but that's a very non columbus -y cover but that, that's very cool bread bread goes in the food oh, look at this guy that's that's pretty badass look chesterfield hats correct and dependable so see i should start a, a hat subcategory i already have like five. Oh, look at how cute those pigs are so do i feel bad putting it in my meat no no 
Oh, look at And look, it's Myrtle Avenue. Whoa. Uh, it's New York because it's Bronx, Manhattan. So this is not going my New York City. Oh, look at More meat, less fat. So this is going to go in my meat. So let's see. Grandma's Kitchen. Where's that at? Grandpa's bar. I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Another Ohio, which... Uh, there's some badass covers for, like, Ohio, uh, Chicago. I have a Chicago binder because that section got too big in the other states. But look at this turntable. Now, do I put that in my record shops? <laughs> or... Uh, yeah, because it's Ohio, so it's going to go in my, it's, uh, entertainment is that category, and I do have an entertainment, I do not know where it went, so let's just put it over here for now, here's another cow, this one's all jacked up right there though, he can go in the meat, oh look, they're already like, here's your steak sir, come on, oh here we go, Come on down to the house of chairs. So that one's pretty great. Where's the house of chairs? Kentucky. Didn't we see this one already? I think so. Here's a tasty steak. Leo's house of steak. Tampa. Florida's another state that has a lot of really good matches. Like this little panel truck. Cute. That can go in my automotive and transportation, which is right here. Same as this truck. So as you can see, this is where the contour, you know, is. It's It was more expensive at the time because you have to do more work. But it's pretty eye-catching and makes me want to get that truck, you know. A pipe. Ooh, the Gobbler Supper Club. Right. Uh, I think that goes in my other states because I have other gobblers. It should go in my animals, but I'll worry about that another time. This big old drink. Laundry. Uh, this is actually a Jewel Light, which is another sub brand. And this is by Universal Match. So Jewel Light is just rounded, it's not contoured, but uh, that's what these are. And then you'll see fake Jewel Lights. So we call those Jewel Light types, but that's what that is. Uh, here's another dog. He's cute. Oh, it's meats. What? I'm not going to eat that dog. But he's going to go on my animals. Is this a, here's another Jewelite. Here's some more chicken. Now, remember we saw one like this? Hold on. It's in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Here it is. So this one's clearly newer because it's a rear strike versus this front strike. Uh, and it does not have the contour... Manny Mark. Uh, Shumsky Enterprises is his Manny Mark, huh? So, yeah. But I just noticed on this one, I didn't point out. See where it says feature match? So, a feature is when there's matches on the inside, but there's art on the matches. So, those are the only ones you don't shuck the matches out of. But people do because, like I said, it was a safety issue or they just didn't know. But that's what that means if you see feature match. It had some kind of feature matches in it at one side, at one time. So, this is a tore up spot striker, um, which, as you can see, someone struck it. But a spot striker is when the striker is not in the usual place; it's in a different spot. So, that's what that is. Uh, oh, hey, look at here's a way better one. Look at that pig. He is like, please strike my ass. So, uh, is this meat driving? Ma Carl's the drive-in. Uh, I don't know where it's at. Does it say anywhere? Nope. But that's a really nice cover because it's a contour and a spot striker and has not been struck. And that pig is like, come eat this pig because I'm a cannibal animal. So we'll put him in the meat. This dog house. He'll go in the dogs. Bell. Heating. Auto glass. That's pretty cool. This cow, which this is neither jewelite nor feature, so it's a knockoff that someone made. 
flowers. So far, I have not found any that go into a different category, like a geographical, 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 sorry. Glasses. So, oh, this one does. Manhattan Beach and Torrance. So that is Southern California. Also serving Hollywood Riviera and Palos Verdes. So, there's the little map. So this will go in my Manhattan Beach. So it's L.A. County A through M. So, see? But this is the, uh, the fun and the monotonous of matchbook sort. Now, I'm clearly not doing it that great. Because I just, oh, we can't, that one's racist. We can't show that one. So, look at these phones. Those are pretty nice. I collect phone companies, so that's where those are going. I collect everything. Actually, not really. Um, you think I have a lot, but not compared to other people. So, there's another hippo. Oil. Uh, the surf. Shoe. So, oh, this is the greatest one ever. So, it's a contour match of a contour lounge chair. Wah, wah. Uh, it's the perfect, uh, is it Enigma? Or like a snake eating its own tail? Whatever. But it's pretty magical. So, yeah. Best, best. It's not a joke, but it is cover ever. Well, so... Oh, look at this one. Pontiac. So that is my contour sorting, which I didn't do much sorting, but I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So my next one, I'll do some more sorting and we'll do some more talking and discussing the matchbook hobby. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any comments, uh, please let me know. Um, I did notice on my other match video, I had a little bit of thumbs down. It's probably because people were mad that I told them their matches that they were trying to sell were crap. But whatever. I'm going to tell you the truth because I don't want anyone to get ripped off. This is a hobby. Hobbies are meant to be fun. And these matches are fun and not dollar signs. So I want to do what I can do to promote the hobby of Flumini and to educate the public because, uh, you know, I do believe. I collect a lot of crap. Matches is probably the best thing that I collect and I just want to share that joy and educate people. So anyways, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend and I will see you next time for some more matchbook sorting. I'm sorry, match cover sorting. Bye.